Hey y'all, it's Michaela with It's a Bond's Life, and today we're going to be making chocolate chip banana bread. What you're going to need is a half a cup of butter, one cup of sugar, two eggs beaten, three bananas, um, overly ripe bananas, and you're going to want to get them um, mushy. You're going to need one and a half cups of flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, a half a teaspoon of salt, and a half a teaspoon of vanilla. And we're going to preheat our oven to 350 degrees. All right, so to our bowl, we are going to add one cup of sugar. We're going to cream or mix our ingredients together. We're going to mix our butter and our sugar. And I'm just going to beat this on low. All right, y'all, so we are adding our two lightly beaten eggs and our three mushed bananas. There are a million ways to make banana bread. This is just the way that I like to do it. If your grandma has a tried and true recipe that you like to do, do it by all means. So now we are going to mix this well. So for our dry ingredients, we're going to add one and a half cups of flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, a half a teaspoon of salt, and we're also going to need a half a teaspoon of vanilla. So after we add all this together, we are going to stir it well. Do not over mix. Mix it just until combined, but don't over mix it. So now we're going to add half a cup of mini chocolate chips or maybe about a fourth of a cup. And I'm just going to stir this in really quick. All right, and now let's pour it into our loaf pan and get this baking in the oven. You're gonna wanna spray your loaf pan with nonstick spray. And then what we're going to do is lightly flour it. So now what we're going to do is just pour this into our loaf pan. You're going to want to get it evenly in there. This smells so good, you guys. So now we're going to bake this at 350 degrees for 55 minutes. So it has been 55 minutes, and this is what it looks like when it's done. You want that nice golden crust on the top. You're going to want to let this cool for at least like 5 to 10 minutes before you cut into it. All right, y'all, so I have tried a piece after it cooled, and it is so delicious. Definitely make this recipe, and let me know if you like it. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in our next video.